what is going on? It's Icy and we're back with Hearthstone and I have a very, very special guest with me, Miss Honey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Starting game. Yes. I love these little beginning things. Crowling Murlocs. <laughs> Serving beverages. Now, I actually played a little bit of Hearthstone this morning. I checked out the tavern because my quest was to like win five tavern brawls. And I'm like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I sort of worked my way through that this morning as I was cleaning up my drives and random stuff. <laughs> I actually have not played Hearthstone in a while, in a, about a week. So when I took a look to this morning, I was just like, uh, I may need to run through a match while my video is uploading for YouTube. <laughs> it's interesting because I mostly play just like like totally distracted. Like I look over and I'm just like click. I don't. I often don't even watch what the other person has done, and until like I look back and I'm like, okay, well this is what I have to work with, you know. Yeah. Well, I get to go first. Oh, you're gonna be the priest. I ain't the priest. <laughs> Always healing yourself up and contradicting my damage when you're depressed. <laughs> oh yeah, and I have to do this. My greetings. My greetings. <laughs> are, are you the kind of player that does that? That like that like respond like like talks uses your little icon things that are your little emote things all the time. Uh, sometimes depending on the deck. I'm like obsessive that I must say my greetings. And it's particularly amusing to me when it's like the very first round and I've got like claw or something. And it's like my greetings as I slap you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually Don't saying it as I smack him. <laughs> well, let's just get right down to brass tacks, shall we? You just yeah. smacked me for five. That was rude. <laughs> that was totes rude. <laughs> well, I see how this is gonna be. This is one of the decks that I'm actually working on. The main one that I use is my warrior deck, but I think that would not be too fair to you because first of all, my warrior deck's a level 20. You you, you would just like hurt me, huh? Yeah. You you would hurt me. Mm -hmm. I see how it is. Ooh, Dire Dwarf is spectating me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, you know, when you play, are you mostly keeping uh, Hearthstone as, as a YouTube series? Because I know you have a YouTube series with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I have not streamed Hearthstone in quite a while, actually. Um, mainly when I do my solo player content for streaming, it's been Spelunky related because I currently have a bet going on with my sister. <laughs> she has, um... Oh, another Spelunky bet. Mm-hmm. My sister has decided to give up on her first Spelunky bet with, um, Blessed and a few others in my stream. And so she has accepted the fact that she's not getting to Olmec, and she has accepted the fact that she gets her hair dyed. She has now left it in my capable hands on what to dye her hair. Mm. So she laid a challenge out to me. I... Let's do this. Okay. You didn't want to do that. You don't need to stay topped off. <laughs> I don't have nothing else, and my mana is not letting me do what I yeah, want to do. Yeah, don't you hate that? Yeah. So my sister laid a challenge out to me that if I can get to the ice caves by Christmas, that I get to pick uh, two different colors to dye her hair. If I cannot, oh. if I cannot, then I get to pick the one color. And so she, in other words, she gets to put off having her hair dyed and it is hoping that it's going to just be, you know, the one, meanwhile, putting it on you to get to the ice caves. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I have been as far as the second stage of the jungle. I'm really trying to work my hardest at getting to the ice caves before Thanksgiving. 
<laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. You know, Spunky is one of those games that it takes a while, but once you get there, you like, you like, you finally get it, and that's what everybody kept telling me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I know, but see, and, and I had my I get it moment, but I'm still Hun, and so even though I like understand things and I understand the process, the actual, you know, doing of the process doesn't always work really well. Doesn't mm -hmm. always, it's like, I, I know the how to get past this thing, but then, you know, I'm not gonna get past this thing very, <laughs> very effectively. Well, my thing is, when I started Splunky, I was kind of hesitant, because I'm like, well, do I want to start Splunky or not? And once I started, I was like, I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm hooked. You know, the funny thing is, I don't know that I would even still be playing it. I, actually, I, I know for a fact, I would, that's a lie. I would not still be playing it if it wasn't for the 2-2 challenge. That's just all there is to it. If it wasn't for the 2-2 challenge, and that, and, you know, and that's something that Pac knew. He's like, oh, ho, ho. so the very day that I played my very first time, he, he issued me that challenge. He's like, so how'd it go? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this game killed me. I, 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 and he just laughed. He's like, how about I sweeten the deal and keep you trying? And so the, the, the tutu challenge has been there since the first day I played the game. Oh, wow. And that was like two years ago and I still haven't got to Olmec. The ironic thing is, is Olmec and Yama have both been beaten on my account, but I wasn't the one playing, so. Hmm. Huh. That didn't help. Well, I do Spelunky every Tuesday on stream, and you know what? I'm doing that. Um, Ooh, I do, you sacked it. I do Spelunky every Tuesday on stream right after my uh, main uh, stream series, Mom vs. Minecraft. And it was two Tuesdays ago that Ash decided to say, you know what, I want to sweeten the deal. Let's see what you can do. And for the last two weeks, both on YouTube and on stream, I have been trying to get there. And I'm close. I know I'm close, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm still learning a few things. Yeah. Like it did recently rob the shopkeeper for the first time in the game. That is so nerve wracking. It's like it's like, and then and then you know, actually getting him to to, to rob the shopkeeper, that's you can kind of get that part down. But then the rest of the problem is, um, actually following through with all the other levels where there's a ticked off shop girl or sh well shop guy. Oh my goodness, my shop guy is not only is the shop guy a guy, but my shop guy is a pat guy. Sorry, baby, I didn't mean to call you a girl. Um, <laughs> But you know, dealing with that that Quite angry, um, that angry shop keeper for all the other levels is ooh, that's hard, that's hard. And I hate to break it to you, but I think I might beat you, dear. Yeah, I think you might. Now you said that, that it's a level twenty day. My, I think my, I'm pretty sure my druid's over twenty. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my warrior deck is over twenty. I used that deck specifically to get to Tavern Brawl, and I think it took me like two weeks of non-stop playing to get it to level 20. Squire, attend me. Squire, Ready, attend sir. me. <laughs> okay, well, I probably shouldn't even bother with that because I just realized I can, I have the fatality already, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna? Uh, oh, 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 dude, my druid's thirty nine. Does that no? Does that make a difference? Wow, thirty I mean, nine. I should have pulled out my warrior deck. Dang it! My, I just realized. Oh my god, I never really looked, but my druid is actually level thirty nine. The mage is twenty five, sixteen. Okay. So I have like 16 to, to to 25 are my various things, but my druid is 39. Wow. You can go ahead and pull out your warrior. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm I'm not really sure how the how the levels do. I mean, I cuz I don't really like I said like, I'm pretty sure my guys over level 20. And then I'm like looking I'm like, "Oh, crap." <laughs> I'm not sure how the levels really affect it because you get, you I mean, your cards aren't necessarily level 
base, base. Although I know initially you unlock cards, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think because I know I have a lot of tw level twelve and thirteen decks. Um, the levels don't affect the cards so much as completing the quests affect the cards. Because I haven't, what I've been working on is I have four decks that aren't even at level um, 10 yet. <laughs> so I've been mainly focusing on those decks, but right. I, I play maybe once or twice a week because I'm doing other things for streaming and YouTube. I know, life gets crazy, man, and, you, and, you, and you're busy. Oh my gosh, yes, life crazy it was it was insane here the last two days alone have been just completely insane yeah yes. yeah th and that's how it is here man it's just it's always crazy see i don't really pay attention to it the hearthstone is one of those things i just sort of play like i said i often just kind of log in and play the daily and it's like oh yeah okay well i'll just play that while i'm uploading things and while i'm mm -hmm. Uh, I'll even like something's rendering and I'm like, okay, well, video render, you know, like I'll edit a bunch of videos and then while well, I was just sitting there doing render, 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 and there's not much you can do otherwise. It's like, oh, let's look at the dailies. <laughs> and I'm kind of like folding laundry and doing oddball things. Yeah. I'm rendering videos usually and helping my mom. Um, yeah, mom duties here. Yeah. Um, my mom is actually disabled, so my sister and I do take care of her. And the last couple of days, I've been helping my mom get things organized in the kitchen. And then yes, yeah, yesterday, fun. yeah, kitchen stuff in my house is very fun because all three of us in the house are foodies. So we're always like, we want to try this and we want to try this. And how do we make this? So nine times out of 10, we're in the kitchen. And when I'm not in the kitchen, I'm sitting at my desk editing videos like, what videos do I have for this day? <laughs> yeah, and you know, people don't realize. Well, I, I, I guess maybe a lot of people do realize because they kind of play with YouTube videos for a little bit. But it takes a the editing process takes a lot. YouTubing takes a lot of time. Oh, oh yeah. And then when you're streaming, obviously that takes a lot of time. So, so mm -hmm. yeah, those are mega time sinks. Mm -hmm. And I'm planning in advance for streams like uh, the last couple days. I've been plating my YouTube stuff and getting my stuff edited for YouTube because I stream on Friday with Ash and Blessed. Right. And then my weekend, well, my Saturday is spent planning for my Sunday stream. And then my Monday is spent for my Tuesday stream. So YouTube and oh, yeah. streaming together, it's a very fine juggling act. It but is. But it's it is. so rewarding. It is so, so rewarding. It's a lot rewarding. of fun. It is a lot of fun. And it's one of those interesting things because, like, over the years, my YouTube has always sort of been the, okay, this is my hobby. And, and you know, the streaming is the job. And so it's easy. That's the one thing that's easy. Like, okay, I can't quite. Okay, <laughs> I can't quite. But, you know, but really trying to focus on being sure you get, you know, a video out every day, it takes a lot of time. It really does. Oh, yes. It, it does. And... I think it was my mom that asked me exactly how much time it takes. And I had to sit there and do the math. I was like, holy crap. Cause I, I know. Because once I'm used to a pattern, I don't even pay attention to the time. It's like, okay, edit, let it render, put the video out. And then you have to take into account if YouTube is having a derpy day. Oh. I, I know I didn't get to start stream on time yesterday because I'm like, will you please finish uploading, please? Oh yes. Thank you. I'm still waiting. You should have been done like an hour ago. You so it doesn't get slow. Have you picked your deck? You yes, I have. You're gonna go. Yes, I have. All right, let's do the challenge. I think. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, it says preparing to battle a friend, but does that mean? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me try something. And it says you are waiting for Honey to select a deck. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh! It must have, like, come up and I didn't even... Oh. <clears throat> I'm like, you gotta go ahead and do the thingy. I'll try a challenge. Yeah, I was like, didn't want to, like, suddenly have the challenge in your face and you not be ready. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Straightening decks. Yeah, it does. It takes, it takes a lot of time. One of the things that... 
that's helped me personally is to do as much multitasking at the same time. You know, whether it's just, like I say, something with Hearthstone where you just sort of take a mental break and just have a little bit of fun. Uh -huh. Or if you're doing a chore or something, it's like, okay, I've got this rendering now, I'm gonna go wash a batch of dishes or we're gonna take care of lunch while this, I get this set to upload and now I can go walk away and you know, that part is done for the day. It's really a balancing act with the time though. So stacking up as much as possible. I would love to be able to just like, you know, be uploading while I'm streaming and stuff, but you know, then it sucks the bandwidth and- Yeah. And you can't. And there's two, in my house, there's two YouTubers and two streamers cause my sister also streams and does yeah. YouTube. So it's like an even finer juggling act because- Oh, oh, I know, I know, you know, we got people watching Netflix and wanting to be on their computers and it's like, <laughs> Mom, mom, why can I go? Why is everything going slow? I'm like, <clears throat> we're all using it right now. That's why. Mm hmm. And it was when I started this channel up and I was starting up streaming. My mom was going to school for her master's degree. So we were all trying to use the computer at the same time. And it's like everything is taking forever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does. Mm. Okay. Job's done. Yeah, I do actually like the, uh, I really like the, the armor, you know, the hero power for the mm -hmm. warrior. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I, I really miss being able to attack. <laughs> you know, but but it, but you know, to me it's like, uh, you know, the never-ending turtle. You know, I'm getting yeah. armored, I'm getting armored. Which, when you're playing against them, it's like seriously, seriously, you've got like 14 armor there, you jackass. I want you know, <laughs> it, it takes so much to get through it. But when you're playing it, you're like, yep, yep, I've got 14 bonus health. Break through that, sucker. You know. Uh huh. And this is why people build your attack. Yeah, and this is why people don't like when I play this deck. <laughs> because I have fine-tuned oh, this God. deck to stack armor consistently. I think there was one game I played, I don't know if it was against Ashley or if it was just on my off time, that when I played, by the end of the game, I had 17 armor on the guy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So is the, is the warrior your absolute preferred then? Yeah, the warrior is my main. Uh, I think the rogue is the second deck I play when I'm not playing the warrior. The interesting thing is, is I that because you can armor up, you know, you get the two armor stuff. That's one of the reasons that I actually liked the druid initially when I was sort, first sort of playing around is because I get like a little bit of both. I get to do my attack, even though it's just a one attack, but I get that I do still get some armor bonus. So to me, like the Drew is kind of like, okay, well, I get a compromise, you know, I get a little bit of both. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Now, I really haven't done a lot with the enchanting. Have you done much with the enchanting things and getting a lot of new cards and stuff like that? Um, I have done a little bit with it, and it was Ash who actually showed me how to do it because I had no idea how to do it until she did. What to do? Mm. Yeah, it's one of those things that's like... Um, the streams yeah, told me like to do it, and, and like the card I just played was what made me think about it. the Druid of the Claw. That was one that I initially got from uh, the disenchanting stuff, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, that's amazing! Because it's basically two cards in one, depending on what you need at that moment. And then I realized, as like I was looking at that card, you know, I haven't really gone back and looked at any of my other options since then. Are there some that you can only get from disenchanting, or an enchanting, or is it just a way of getting them when you haven't got them from a deck yet? Or do you even know? Because I don't know. Um, most car. I think the the legendary cards you can only get from disenchanting stuff. Nice. Because I was looking through it um earlier, and I saw several dragon cards that I want to put in my mage deck, but I have to disenchant a bunch of stuff in order for me to do it. 
most yeah. yeah most cards though you can get in card packs oh that's you sweetheart yeah i'm there we go i actually sometimes like think i've ended it or i'm like like okay i've done all my things and then i hear that i'm like come on guy hurry up oh crap i'm sorry like, <laughs> it's like you like don't you know realize that it's that it's you yeah. Uh, at least I sometimes don't realize that it's me. Oh, I can get to talking with somebody and all of a sudden I hear that and I'm like, uh, is it your turn? Oh, wait, it's mine. Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I like this card. Because I can smack it to you. And smack it to you. And smack it to you. And I'll leave you one. You can You can still hit me with that one. I really like clearing the board. I like not letting anybody have any minions. Oh, yeah. Because I always end up, like, like you get some warlock or something, and they've got, like, five minions up there, and they're you just like, oh, our mage, you're like, man, you can't. I mean, even if they're, like, one ones, they add up, you know? Mm-hmm. So I do like trying to clear the board. That's one of the reasons I like the druid, too, is that I like clearing, um... And the swipe. Swipe is cool. To just, you know, like... <laughs> Gone. Well, I've been trying to think of a way to eat, make this deck even better because this deck is good, but I think I think this deck personally needs, still needs a little bit of work. Because if I Dang can, because if I can get the right hand. I completely destroy my opponent, but if I get the wrong hand, I'm so stuck. Well, that's one of the interesting things is, yeah, like, like you can have, like, this is great run and, and like, oh, yeah, I am yeah, kicking yeah. butt. And then it's like, where are all the cards that I need? Or, okay, I've got all these high cards. Where are the ones that I can actually play right now? Yes. Uh, so much of it does depend on the cards. And I, one of the things I really love about Hearthstone is it also depends on what your opponent's card are because it changes so much mm -hmm. based on, um, you know, what they have too. It's like, okay, well, this is a great set of cards, but that card just totally decimated my great set of cards. You know, like somebody gets a perfect um, silence off and you've got all these nice things hidden under one taunt and then that taunt is taken away. And it's like, yeah, now you're vulnerable. We can get to you. So it's interesting to me because it, it, it is like every game is a little bit different depending on, you know, what they have and, and what they do. I'm getting to the point now where I do actually see, like, I play a play and I'm going, oh, that was a bad plan. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. With the armor again. Mm-hmm. With the and armor I, again. And I finally got the card that I needed to put on the field. Now I hope it can stay there for longer than a turn and a half. Uh-huh. I don't like that card. I don't like that card at all. And I just hit my Starfire, which would have taken out that card. I don't like your card, Ashy. <laughs> what to do? I don't want to beat your card, Ashy. <laughs> it's gonna hurt to beat your card, Ashy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Bam. Bang. I was totally about to like uh, shape shift and get the one attack and then just take the six hits. Ha! Wow. But I had that one Wrath card. Okay. Let's see. I really, uh... I enjoy this one and it's interesting to me because I, I, I've done one video on it. And I've actually thought about doing more in a series. Um, but it's just an interesting thing because this is one of the few... In fact, it's like the only game that I actually like just play play and don't... Uh-huh don't, you know, YouTube it or stream it or something. Cause pretty much if I'm playing something, it's being, I don't like that card either. <laughs> I don't like that card either. Pretty much if I'm doing it, you know, if I'm, if I'm playing a game, I'm live or I'm, I'm working in some way. Uh -huh. And so it's kind of interesting to be able to just, you know, play for play sake. Yeah. That card gets dangerous so dang fast. Mm-hmm. Okay. And with me, I have... 
probably one or two games, but my when I'm not working, I'm doing my next favorite thing, which is writing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, next month, they have this thing called National Novel Writing Month. Yeah. There are quite a few people that are talking about that. It, this is ridiculous, but I'm doing it with this little tiny slime. <laughs> um... Um... That was actually a really good move. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, I like putting the like the taunt up on something that's got you know like more. I'm like, well, you know what? You may not have any attack, but you're still gonna have decent health. All right, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Go ahead. Kill yourself. I shall live. The gates are open. Oh dang it. That. Or both. I love that. I love that. <laughs> One of the things Blizzard's done fantastic is really has r excellent voice acting for for all of their games. For I mean, oh yeah, oh yes. Um, I I love just listening to the Innkeeper. <laughs> I play Heroes of the Storm. On yeah, I've had people talk about that. It's a pretty fun game to play. I play it just to play it. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Okay. Oh, if you want to do that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do that. No, 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 no. Do that. Do that. You can. You can do that. You don't. You don't mind doing that. And just. Oh, I feel like I should apologize to you. Oh, uh, what'd you do? <laughs> what do you have? Um, well, I'm gonna take out two of your big, two of your thingies. Uh. Oh, and now that you're down to three, I can take you out. I can handle that mutual exchange. I can. I can. Uh, let's break that armor, shall we? Oh my gosh! Nice! Busted and through! Dang! <laughs> Gave it like a wrecking ball! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I might get a little bit smack talky. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a painful card. And you've got. <gasps> <laughs> and then she found something! <laughs> Sorry! I don't like that card. That card was go away. That card was go away. Hella, hella far away. Oh, dang. That card will wreck my face. I don't like that card. Oh my gosh! I have not seen that card. Which Hold one? Up. Uh, your taunt one on the field. I have not seen that card before. Oh, oh yeah. Iron Bark Protector. I love this guy. I love that guy. And you just destroyed the card that could have easily taken uh -huh. him out. Dang it! Yes, I don't like your. I don't like that card. That card must die. I just. I'm like, wait. I have a naturalized. Uh, okay. I just got you. <laughs> uh, no, that card must die. That card is big, and there there are a handful of cards that, like, the moment you see them, you're like, oh no, that must die. That must die. That must die. Yeah, right away. Especially because it's got that protection. Because it's like, yeah, look, you got eight. <laughs> you ain't gonna take me out. You know, I'm gonna knock you down and. And and still be protected. That that that's one of the reasons that oh paladins, put divine shield paladins and priests sticking divine shields on everything. You're like uh -huh. really, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. I like the very few cards I have with divine shield, but complete decks that have nothing but divine shield and taunt in them just drive me crazy. I know. I know. Oh, well, it's always fun though when you see somebody with uh with uh uh. <laughs> well, you you like that one? You want to see it again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, um, I feel like I should say I'm sorry again. <laughs> you definitely do not have to. I have had my butt whipped so many times in this game. I know, but you know, it's fun. I I've seen some of those Murloc and, and, um, and mech card decks. They're, like, I've never made one, but I've seen people where they just start, like, stacking up. And before you know it, there's so many Murlocs, and all the Murlocs are buffed. And they're, you're like, what the, what? 
Yeah. Death by like these little bitty murlocs. Mm, I don't like that guy either. These little bitty um these little bitty murlocs suddenly end up being really, really buffed up. You're like, holy Hannah, death by Murloc deck. Yeah. Look at that five. Yeah. Oh, that's the Arcanite? Yeah, Arcanite Reaper. Dang it. You killed yourself. Yes, I did. You killed yourself. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Mm, I didn't even... I have to remember that weapon sometimes can do that. Well, yeah. Because, well, because what the thing is, is is you can do that five damage, but at the same time, yeah. you're, you're facing whatever you're hitting. I mean, like... If you've got the armor to take the hit, then go for it. But otherwise, yeah, that kind of hurts. Yeah. I do the same exact thing, and I'm like, ha ah, ha I could take you out. Oh, crap. I took you out, but I just did mega damage to myself. And sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth it to get rid of the, the threat. Sometimes my brain's like, you know what? They're going to hit me anyway. I might as well take the hit and kill them. Mm-hmm. Versus letting them come back and hit me again and again and again. Mm-hmm. And this deck works extremely well on rogue decks, because there are so many times that I have completely taken rogue decks out after stacking armor on a consistent basis. It's just, you have to have the right starting hand. If you do not, yeah. it is so hard with this deck. This deck in particular. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Well, we've had two good runs. Yes, <clears throat> we have. And with that, I folks... Might have won. I might have won both runs. <laughs> just, just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I did a thing. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, folks, this ends the episode. I will be leaving links to Honey's Twitch and YouTube channels in the description box below. Go check her out. She is so awesome and a delight to be around. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you for having me, darling. It was super fun. You're welcome. Until next time, guys, have fun and be yourself. This is Icy. I'll see you back here for more Hearthstone. Bye, guys.